you are welcome to my channel in this video i'll show you how to generate standard signals in matlab particularly i'll discuss these five signals unit step signal unit ramp unit parabolic unit sine sinusoidal signals and damped sinusoidal signal and let us have a quick discussion on these signals ut is used for unit step signal this notation will be using u of t equals to 1 for t more than equal to 0 and otherwise it is zero it's imply that on right hand side of time it is always one and left hand side is zero so it looks like this zero to t this side infinity by infinity it is one and left side is zero for unit ramp the r of t is used and this is equals to t for t more than equal to zero means with time the signal is increasing linearly with slope 1 and left hand side it is 0. So you can see here this r of t we can write as t times u of t because u of t will be 1 for right hand side thus it is 1 for positive side and t equal to 1 is t only okay and left hand side is truncated. So this is the safe for ramp signal. Similarly, you will have parabolic signal. And A of t is used for parabolic rotation. And it is half t square for right side, t more than 0, otherwise 0. So we will have one relation between uh, among these three signals. That if you integrate this unit step signal, you will get unit ramp. And if you integrate ram signal, you will get parabolic. Again, if you take derivative of this parabolic, you will get ram. And if you get take derivative of this ram, you will get step signal. We will discuss sinusoidal signal. We will consider x of t equals to sine of 2 pi f t. And here f is linear frequency in hertz. And it is a periodic signal. So we will discuss this, this one. So here you will see its amplitude is constant 1. Next, we are going to discuss damped sinusoidal signal where the sinusoidal signal, its amplitude is reducing over time, basically exponentially, e to the power minus 80 form. So this e to the power minus 80 is called an envelope of this signal because when the sign component is plus 1, its maximum value, then it will touch to this function and when it is minus 1 then it will touch to minus e to the power minus 80 okay so its shape will look like this so this is one positive envelope this is negative envelope i have discussed this signals in detail in my lecture and its link is just provided above here now we will go to MATLAB simulation, we will try to generate this function in MATLAB. But before that, I have one small request to all my students. If you enjoy this video at the end, please like, press the like button and write in comment section about your experience. This is required to get wide publication for my videos. Please do these things. Now, we will move to the MATLAB simulation part. Now, now here, if you open your MATLAB, you will see this window, right? And this section is workspace. And this one is your editor. There you can write the code and here it is comment sections, right? So now I can open a new script one, MATLAB file. So you just open, you will get an untitled window. Okay, editor. 
here I will paste my previous code so that I have copied already. So this one. So this is for unit step signal. Now we need to save it. So I will use one name. So here I'll write step signal. Then I will press the save button and it is saved here. Right. Now we can simulate this one, this code, just this run button. Press run button. So you see it is, it will generate one step signal. So I'll discuss this code in detail later a little bit. Okay. Now I'll try to show you that in my one MATLAB code here in standard signal.m file, there I have written all the five signals, the code for all the five signals. Okay, those five signals. Then, then if you run this code, you will see I will get all the five figures. So, this is the fifth figure, damped sinusoidal. This is your sinusoidal signals. And this is your parabolic signal, this is the unit ramp, and this is unit step. Right? So we'll be discussing this one. Now I'll discuss in detail right now. So this is the first section. So all the MATLAB code. If you start with this one, these three lines, it's a good practice. So first one you can write clear all. It will clear all the variables from your past experiments. And close all. If you want to close all the figures, previous figures, it will close everything. Okay. And CLC, the clear to clear the comment window, you can use CLC. Okay. And then with Then this with this one, this percentage sign is used to comment a line. It's implied that MATLAB will ignore that line while it will execute your code. Okay. So this kind of this you see this is a green signal in green, green uh, colored. It is written here. Okay. There I have written unit step signal. It's implied that the next code is for unit step. Okay. So this is used used if you want to make it more readable. Right. Next, you consider the figure here. I want to generate this figure. So the first we want to mention the time range from minus 10 to plus 10. So the here I consider one variable T1. So this lower limit is minus 10 and upper one is plus 10. And here it is an increment. So every time it will be incremented by 0 0.01. So basically T1 is a variable which will include many samples. So it will give you one array starting from minus, its value will start from minus 10 up to plus 10 and every time it is incremented by 0 0.01. Okay. And remember that MATLAB will work in discrete domain only. It cannot, you cannot use it in continuous domain. But here we want to draw the continuous time domain signal. Thus we need to take huge number of samples. So this sample should be sufficiently high so that it will look like a continuous signal. Okay. So I have considered here 0 0.01. Then we'll define one variable here, unit step signal. Now this is one important thing. Here I'll use this one, T1 more than equal to 0. So I'll assign this unit step signal as T1 more than equal to 0. It's implied that when this, this is logical performance, okay, operation. So when T1 value is more than equal to 0, then if it is true, then its value will become 1 and it is stored in this one. So for every T1, it is executed and whenever T1 value is more than equal to 0, then this value will become 1. Otherwise, 
if it is if it is not true then it, it value will become zero so you see this is nothing but unit step so for positive side i want one value for negative side i want zero value so this very simple code will give you the unit step signal okay and here i should mention that you can also use one standard user defined function that is called heavy side function okay that also you can use for unit step that will be discussed in next video okay then to plot this one this function i'll use figure comments okay if you use figure then it will create one new figure and you can use plot comment so plot we wish to plot this unit step signal with respect to t1 so first we will put t1 followed by unit step signal and you can put the color in this way this r stands for red then you can put the x level this level also you can mention the time in second i have considered y level i have considered u of t and also you can provide the title the unit step signal i have considered here and you can provide also the limit the range for x x axis I'll, it is called at x limit x l i m and here you should consider the range minus 10 to plus 10 i have considered so you can take any range okay and y limit also you can specify here so i have considered minus 3 to plus 3 so that it is clearly visible otherwise if i don't use this y limit then this figure will show from 0 to 1 only okay so it is very simple code to generate this unit step signal right now similarly we can generate the ram signal you see it's very similar the only difference is that the same time range i have considered the main difference is here so you know the ram signal is basically time multiplied t times u of t so that t here it is t1 and this is your u of t because t1 more than equal to 0 that logic you have considered but so this is one array this is another array i need one point to point multiplication thus i should use the dot star so dot star this convention is used for point to point multiplication okay if i have two arrays so point wise if i want to multiply then i should use this kind of syntax right so t1 t1 dot start and this is your t1 more than equal to 0 so this will give you the ram signal the rest thing is similar okay similarly for parabolic here it should be half t square so that thing i have done here this 0.5 times here only only times okay no need to put dot because this is one square quantity but this is one vector quantity so t1 dot cap 2 so this 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 is the notation for t square and that so this vector is multiplied by this vector point wise so dot star with this one you will get parabolic right so rest are same and for sinusoidal signal i will consider the time range minus 4 to plus 4 with increment 0 0.01 and frequency we can define so the f equal to i can 1 or 4 okay whatever it is and so here i can consider these things uh, 1 you see i have considered here only and this is x1 sin 2 pi ft here pi is introduced in matlab it is defined there so you can write pi only for pi so no need to put 3.14 like that so you can use pi okay so 2 pi and f we have already defined it is 1 and t is this range so you will get another sequence for, and that is for sine sequence right so that we can plot it here so range i have considered from minus 2 to plus 2 so this is the corresponding figure the sinusoidal part is very simple next depth for damp sinusoidal I would need to include one envelope part. So this is the envelope part. So it will be power minus 
t I have considered and it is sine of 2 pi f t and these things right and we can use this x level y level and title everything right so here I have considered 4 basically uh, this figure is obviously the function sine function the frequency is 4 hertz but uh, uh, here you can note that by mistake I have written this y level as this f equal to 1 but it should be 4 hertz and this exponential part it should be 1.5 t okay so that, uh, that that one correction is there simple thing so you will find one damn sinusoidal here okay because of this envelope and this is dying down okay over time now I'll discuss one important concept. Sometimes we are interested to plot different signals in one figure only. That thing we can do using hold on and hold off operation. So here you see this one hold on I have used after the figure and here it is hold off. So within this one you can write these plot comments for all the signals okay so you will get all the plots in single figure so here i have plotted the unit step signal and we have used the color r and for this ram signal the g b stands for green and for parabolic i have used b b stands for blue so you see in the figure it is shown all the figures all the signals so this is your step signal red one this is your green that is ram signal and this one is parabolic signals okay so i have considered different range right so i will be adding all the codes in my description box so you can collect it and you can copy and paste it that you can do okay so if you if you have enjoyed this video, please press the like button and write in comment section. This is my request. And if in the next video, I will be discussing one important concept that uh, how to generate trapezoidal signal in MATLAB. So I hope you will be uh, watching that video too. If, if you have not subscribed yet, so I request you to subscribe to this channel. You will be getting lots of videos, similar videos. Hopefully, you will enjoy all those things. It will be useful to you. Thank you very much for watching.